What's up everybody, Billy here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about, and I think we just have to get to it eventually, the removal of the headphone jack, but not necessarily on the next Apple iPhone, but just in phones in general. So Apple gets a lot of flack for even thinking about ditching the 3.5mm uh, audio jack upcoming on their next iPhone, but some people tend to forget that Motorola actually tried that with the Moto Z in their most recent phone. But now it's not just Apple that's discussing the possibility of dropping the 3.5mm audio jack, it's Intel now as well. At a recent Intel developer forum, or IDF, there was a session headed up by two architects, Rahman Ismail and Brad Saunders. And this session was entitled USB Type-C, enabling and extending the USB connector of the future. So in this, they were talking about some of the advantages of the USB Type-C interface and how it could actually be used more so in the future. And one of the things was actually using USB 3 as a port of the future where it replaces the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Now the logic behind this is that the 3.5mm audio jack, although it's a great standard and it's been used for a long long time, there are some bad things associated with it. For example, it does take up a lot of volume inside the phone, so if, in case you wanted to make an even slimmer phone, this is one of the ports that's going to have to go unfortunately. Also within that, Sondra claimed that because of its analog circuitry, the 3.5mm audio jack can actually cause interference with other electronics in the phone as well, so having just an all digital port through the USB Type-C port, that would just be a lot easier in terms of not having any interference. Another improvement about using a digital audio port instead of something like an analog like the 3.5mm jack, it's the sound processing options available to the end user without having to actually purchase expensive headphones or the like. You can actually have options like playing in a big concert hall and things like that using a digital port like the USB Type-C instead of using something like analog and you don't really have to go out and buy super super expensive headphones for example. Now this wasn't the only thing that they talked about in the session, USB Type-C has a lot of other improvements as well that they want to build upon, such as using USB Type-C for video as well. So they're hoping to actually update the port to be able to use different video technologies on it and to make it a really truly all-in-one port instead of just for charging and data transfer. Now they mentioned that it's not necessarily a replacement for HDMI, but it's going to be good enough just to do simple things, but unfortunately not something like gaming. So for once we actually have a port that can do an all-in-one, which I think is personally incredible. You can either charge charge your phone, transfer data, play music through it, play video through it. I think that's a good step going forward. And unfortunately, sometimes there are going to be some growing pains with that, but I think it's something to truly look forward to into the future. Now, unfortunately, it wouldn't necessarily be this standard. Now, the current USB Type-C standard probably wouldn't be able to support all of the things that the two architects and two engineers were speaking about, but hopefully the new implementation in the future would be able to handle all of these things, which I think would be awesome. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of just having an all-in-one port to do everything from video, audio, charging, data, instead of having separate for ports for each thing? Do you think that that'll be better overall, or do you think it'll run into issues like, hey, what if I want to charge my phone while also playing music through it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So now I've imbued you guys with a little bit more knowledge. It's not just Apple that wants to kill off the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It seems like Intel has a little play in this game as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more news videos just like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future. I'd like to thank you guys very much for taking the time out of your day to watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys very much. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.